Hello everyone. In one of my previous video, I showed you how we can use 9 bit transmission mode or addressable word module in PIC 18. If you use addressable word mode, we can connect multiple slaves to a single master in normal UART. So basically, you know, in normal UART communication, there is only a transmitter and a receiver. So if we switch that mode to a 9 bit addressable mode, we can connect multiple slaves. In that video, I already told you that uh, according to the data sheet of this BKT microcontroller, this enhanced UART module can be used for LIN protocol as well as implementing RS485 standard, heretical standard. So, uh, one of my previous video, I already showed you this module right over here. It is MAX485 module, which will convert TTL logic from this microcontroller to RS485 electrical specifications. So, um, this setup is very simple. I already explained uh, this setup in one of my previous video. If you don't know how it's work, just watch. But I, anyway, I will explain how this overall setup will work once again. It is very simple. It will. Uh, this is the master and this is the slave. Um, this is pick 4550 and this is pick 18 and 4580. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Both of them has an enhanced word module. So this is configured in 9 bit transmission mode and this is configured in 9 bit reception mode this is a slave controller so uh, this master controller will transmit four different addresses i will show you uh, later in the serial game uh, serial window uh, when the slave receive uh, its address which is programmed to be 0xa in the program this is mblab id and i uh, here if you uh, let me focus Okay, if you can see that the received address is if it's hexadecimal 0xa, then it will toggle an LED. That's the reason why after some regular interval you can see the see an LED is toggling right here, which is connected to the port B pin. Um, so um, that was the last setup I done where I directly connected uh, TTL logic to TTL logic, but right now I am using this max 485 to convert that TTL logic into a um, R485 uh, communication standard. Uh, so uh, you can see a twisted yellow wire right over here through this terminal blocks. Uh, that that has not, uh, nothing to do with uh, this. Uh, sorry, um, this is not actually calculated. If we if we use a similar setup like this, a small setup where the distance is too short, we can actually use a simple jumper wire uh, for a convenience I just use a twisted wire uh, twisted wire is actually recommended in RS485 standard uh, if, we, the, if the distance is too long it will definitely reduce the electromagnetic interferences uh, right now I doesn't calculate anything about the length and all other uh, uh, things related to this uh, twisted pair I just made it by just uh, twisting to single standard wire uh, so, if you do the similar experiment, you can use just jumper wire like this since the distance is too small. So, uh, the <coughs> receiver will receive all the address uh, uh, sent by this master and it will send it over as a what communication through this USB detail converter. So, here on my laptop, I can see the data sent by this slave. Uh, when the right address is received by this slave it will toggle an LED remember one thing it's a quick fact about 9 bit transmission uh, in 9 bit reception and transmission mode especially if the slave is configured in 9 bit reception mode as I told you earlier so this slave will receive any data uh, on which the 9 bit is not set that means it only receive a data in which 9 bit is set it will discard all other data that's the way this word work so I will show you the data packets. In this terminal application, you can see the uh, data bytes I received from the slave. This slave is actually transmitting uh, the received address to my computer using 8 bit transaction mode. Uh, so, just watch my previous video, you will understand that. Anyway, uh, I successfully interfaced uh, a simple communication between a master and slave. Right now, I should uh, use another slave 
uh, add another slave in this circuit so i need to buy one of this max 485 module and also this is only a single way communication master is transmitting something and slave is uh, doing something uh, while not talking back to the master i will implement that in the future video anyway thanks for watching i will see you soon